Good afternoon. Uh, I am Sweet Sarita Praharaj from Myra School of Business and today we have Mr. Ja Dr. Jayanth Chatterjee with us. Dr. Jayanth Chatterjee has just retired from as professor from IIT Kanpur but continues to continues as an adjunct professor for a few more years. He also teaches as visiting faculty in ISB and Myra and a few other Indian as well as abroad institutes. Dr. Jayanth Chatterjee is a renowned practitioner with rigorous academic involvement. He has over 20 years of experience and 30 years of management experience in different countries. Starting with Siemens as a sales engineer in 1972, he went on to pioneer the introduction of programmable control and advanced electronic systems at Allen Bradley, where he rose to the position of president and CEO in 1990. Dr. Jayanta Chatterjee was also nominated for Rockwell Global Awards in 93, 94 and 95. He was chosen as the best manager of the year by Delhi Management Association in 1994. He was also the lead of Rockwell Country Manager in Asia Pacific Council. Welcome to Myra sir. Yes. So all that you said uh, Sarita, you know, those are uh, facts, but they are kind of, you know, almost things that happened almost 20 years back. Last 20 years, I would say, I am in uh, teaching and research. I love teaching and fortunately the students love me. And uh, currently, of course, I spend more time in guiding uh, research. Uh, particularly, my interest areas now are product and brand management and a new product. Uh, management right from the design, product design to finally achieving a market salience. Uh, this whole trajectory, particularly the very early part which we call the fuzzy front end of uh, uh, design and product management uh, that interests me a lot of students are working with me with this. I am also now interested in history, particularly history of art. And uh, in fact, after my retirement, I joined as a student at uh, Kala Bhavan at Vishwavarati. I did a course on art history um, and uh, I am now also kind of dabbling in painting and uh, sculpture and so on. So, uh, you know, looking at some of the questions that you have given me, that uh, yes, uh, this is my first time in Myra. Um, and uh, of course I have been to Mysore many times but uh, this particular trip I come back after you know maybe almost 10 years and uh, so Mysore is a very nice place it's a very cold and chill out place um, you know it doesn't have the hustle bustle of uh, Bangalore or Delhi or Bombay so it's uh, but of course it's also a very nice traditional uh, well planned, well laid out, well managed uh, city. Myra, uh, this is my first introduction. Uh, of course, I know Dr. Shalini Ars from before, uh, but uh, looks good. The architecture is uh, very interesting. The classrooms are uh, well prepared, um, and uh, you have a group of very enthusiastic uh, students. And, uh, and these are early days, so I presume that with more time uh, there will be more growth coming in terms of uh, quantity of students, quality of students and your quantity and quality of placements. Uh, and I hope as time will progress, Myra will also get into research because uh, without research orientation and without having a group of research scholars on campus. I think just as a uh, you know, PG diploma course in management or even a course for executives in management, the institute becomes uh, you know, over time uh, maybe a bit uh, unidimensional and more like a training school rather than that way a true academic institution. So I think I should uh, look at uh, maybe hosting uh, some postdoctoral fellows to start with or uh, people who are doing a PhD maybe 
they can do PhD in collaboration with uh, Mysore University. So all that will be uh, very uh, good steps forward. As far as uh, brand uh, management, product management, product management is very, very important uh, for India, particularly at this point of time, because we hardly have any Indian product yeah. in the global market uh, of any prominence. There are, I mean, there are products from Tata's or, uh, but, but mostly, uh, you know, Indian products which have some name, they are, uh, they are famous, they have acceptance because of thousands of years of heritage and they are mostly coming from, you know, natural endowment. Uh, but what we have to look at is what mark can we make in the field of something that has been made, designed and made in India, engineered products. It could be even uh, something like a, a shirt or like a you know dress. So in textile, uh, we do have some position in the global market, but that's mostly as a you know either as a subcontractor or just supplier of uh, basic material. But we have to make a mark in fashion, in design, in creating uh, stuff that the world will love. That's why understanding what products make a mark how products are accepted or valued um, will become very important uh, lessons and practices. And I hope more and more uh, management students in India from schools like Myra will become entrepreneurs, job creators rather than job seekers. Uh, and for that, for them to develop this entrepreneurial skill, uh, Developing skill for product management and brand management will become more and more important. And to make an Indian product uh, acceptable to the global market, we must understand also brand. And brand is, uh, you know, you have questioned that whether in a country like India, uh, brand has any significance. Uh, and that question perhaps comes, usually people feel that brand is for getting some premium in the marketplace. But that's not exactly always true. Brand uh, can be created, a powerful brand can be created uh, even for something which is day to day, which is something, a stable product, more for customer confidence, trust uh, and uh, preference coming from continued excellence in the product, continued uh, add on in terms of or I would say augmentation in the product beyond its core value. A extremely good example, very good example is Amul for example, a very strong brand, a super brand of India. And Amul is not really aiming at getting a price premium. It is actually aiming at a leadership that is unassailable a leadership that is sustainable. So you see so many uh, people have tried to break into this market. Even large multinationals have tried to break into. But Amul's uh, position of leadership is really almost uh, unassailable. And that is because they do brand management in the true sense that means you love Amul not only because of the butter or because of the milk or because of the other dairy products, you have some more, you know, stronger association. I mean, all those Amul hoardings, you know, or uh, Amul cartoons, uh, they're so popular. I mean, in fact, a book that has been published as a compilation of all the Amul advertisements and Amul campaigns and slogans, that book is a bestseller. You know, it's just uh, showing pictures of those ads and uh, so that shows that it has developed a relationship. It has developed what we call a, a brand resonance. So that's why uh, Amul is such a strong brand today even maybe some, I, I know that some underwear, you know, has been launched by other, some other company um, and that is branded as Amul. That is because people love this love. This uh, 
consumers love, customers love. And not only in India but going beyond uh, will be absolutely essential for our country's economy to make a mark. Our growth uh, today often happens even if we have a good monsoon, we have a good economic growth. And it, I mean, we are an, um, dominated by agriculture, but going forward, you know, we have to uh, win uh, in the global marketplace, not only uh, because of uh, basmati rice, but we have to win in the global marketplace of hundreds of products which are made from rice. And these are actually, there are so many opportunities, you know, go around India and you will find in the food processing industry, we are globally, just like Indian textile uh, has been known for thousands of years. People have preferred. But we have to build on that. We have to now build fashion on basic textile so that we are loved as much today French uh, fashion is loved or Italian fashion is loved. And all this cannot come unless, you know, brands uh, like the French fashion depends on the branding of Dior or Chanel. In the same way, the Italian fashion depends on the, uh, you know, ability of creating the brand preference by the Italian companies. So we need uh, now, uh, you know, Gucci's or uh, uh, Chanel's to arise from India. We need Kellogg's, like Kellogg companies arising out of India who will use the thousands of varieties of great Indian cereals but make them into processed products with more value added by creating more knowledge input into it so that it becomes a globally preferred uh, product. So I would say that good product management is an essential need today to make Indian economy great. And to make Indian products great, we need deep understanding of brand management right from the creation to nurturing to managing the leadership of brands. So I hope, uh, you know, Maida will uh, create uh, these uh, entrepreneurial uh, product innovators, brand creators, uh, people who will uh, not only make themselves successful but will pull others so that we have more engines and less bogies in India. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.